So I've been called out to a job today in Roseville. Um, basically the customers with Optus, um, about two weeks ago, the uh, internet uh, stopped working. Um, Optus said it possibly could be the modem, so they sent out a brand new modem and uh, filters and all that type of stuff. Um, then they had a technician come out um, and he said that everything's working fine to the MDF. It's actually an internal wiring issue. Um, so I actually spoke to that technician today. He's tried to be a bit helpful with us. Um, he set up a PID tone on the line because there was nothing tagged here, but I traced it down from the customer's unit, but still just wanted to make sure it was the right FNN. Um, anyway, the customer, as you can hear, I've got my phone on that pair there, pair eight, or pair eight on this block. But that's uh, testing fine going up. Um, insulation resistance is good. Now you can see the uh, more alligator clips are on the jumper wires that run down to the A side here. And as you can see, I've got my alligator clips connected up and this is running down to the modem. It's been connected up for 10 minutes now and uh, still just a flashing DSL light. Now there's a dial tone on the line. The dial tone's nice and clear and everything seems hunky-dory um, with that side of things, but uh, it's not syncing with the exchange. So this could be a jump wire, um, ADSL jumpers in the exchange, or it could be an exchange fault of some kind. But as you can see, this is just a blinking DSL light of death. So um, Optus, this will be going back to you. Um, you're going to need to see to send a technician to get this sorted out. Um, and that's it. And maybe give this customer uh, a reimbursement because you told them it was an internal problem and it's actually a network issue. All right, thanks, bye.